What's up guys, Cody from Nonstop Editing here today, and this is my first tutorial in quite a long time, so I'm kind of kind of excited to show you guys how to quick do this 3D motion tracking without Buju, or however you say that, and without After Effects, because I know those are two programs that most people do not have, and here's basically what we're going to be doing. I just did a sample with text. Now ignore the random like little flinches, because... That was just a problem with the render. But as you can see, it looks very nice, and you can do this really easily with a free program. And again, ignore little glitches. But, so, what you're going to do is just click on the link in the description, softpedia.com slash get blah 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 blah, and it will link you to this thing called Voodoo Camera Tracking 1.10 Beta. Now you're just going to click download here and I just hit download external mirror or exter external mirror mirror download whatever and I just click here whatever it'll start the download and yeah you guys all know how to install things so you're just gonna install voodoo I'm just gonna X out of this for right now and you're gonna once once you have it installed, you're gonna go to Sony Vegas Pro, and I'm assuming I'm using this in 11. I'm assuming you can do the same thing in 10, but you're just gonna get a simple video clip. Oh, here, let me turn the preview quality down. Just a simple video clip of the camera rotating on Call of Duty. just like that and all you're gonna do when you have that is just highlight it make sure you don't have any overlays on the screen or anything you just want it solely the map so you're just gonna highlight the part you want rendered do render as and you'll get this list and if not and if you have Sony Vegas 10 you're just gonna have to change the file save format and then go to image sequence and do PNG. Now I'm not going to render it right now because I already have a folder with this rendered. So you guys will click render. I'm going to click cancel. And you, when you click render, it's going to render it to to a certain spot or whatever. So you'll get all these pictures. And you're going to want it to be somewhat short. You're not going to want a 30 second thing that you're tracking. Like I'm doing 60 frames a second and this is 604 frames. So, yeah, it's only six seconds long. So anyway, you'll have this huge thing of pictures. And what you're going to want to do next is open up Voodoo. And you'll have a little screen like this. And then, uh, like, just a command screen where it shows all the behind-the-scenes stuff. Oop. Which really does not matter, but I don't think you should close it. And then what you're going to do is you're going to go File, Open, Sequence. And you're just going to hit Browse. And you're going to find the first image of the sequence. Hit Open. And you'll see some of these file thingies. You're just you're going to leave everything except for Motion or Move Type. And you're going to make sure it says Rotation Camera on Tripod. Because Free Move can get mixed up a lot so again your clip should only be a rotation of the camera it shouldn't be like flying through the map because it'll be harder and for the cam for the program to track so you're just gonna click rotation camera on tripod and hit OK and then this will load up and you're just gonna hit track down here and as you can see a little bar pops up here and green dots will start to appear on your video track and as you can see it's starting to track frame by frame now I'm not gonna do this I already have a tracked tracked file and it's also open another window so I'm gonna click stop tracking you guys do not want to do that and so when it's all done your prompt thing will be full with all this stuff and nothing else will be happening so you're just gonna go file save lightwave 3d and I'm gonna save it I don't even know 
just put it in the same directory as your image sequence and I already have one in here but I'll just call it text and save it and you're gonna hit export all and then hit OK next you're gonna go to Cinema 4D and I'll start a new project here and you're just going to hit file open and you're gonna open the text.iws file in the image directory and this will just say like scale 10 centimeters don't change anything to just click OK and as you can see a whole bunch of dots will appear and if you play the video they rotate and those are the dots that the camera tracked on your map so you're not gonna wanna change your camera's perspective at all but anyway so now to get the picture in you're going to go click on click on the light right here and you're gonna click background okay and you're gonna need kind of a cinema 4d background or experience with this program to be able to do this really effectively but what you're gonna do next is just uh, in the material section just double click to make a new material double click that material and make sure the color tab is highlighted and go to texture and click the three dots at the end of that line and you're just gonna select the first picture from the sequence once again hit open and once you're back here again in the color tab you're just gonna double click that little picture so I'll show that again right here just click that picture and then three tabs will be open up here click animation go down to the bottom here and calculate now what you're going to want to do is just drag the material onto the background and there you go if you play it it moves it's going to be a very laggy but it's just going to be something you have to deal with now next to get text in you're just going to go to MoGraph Mo Text, and you're not going to want to adjust the camera at all so you're just gonna click the window button up here and you're gonna have to adjust it through that camera and that should be easy enough right now so then just click this again and adjust it to kind of fit the ground or like line up with the ground like so and then when you if you click the pre-render button here you'll see it doesn't really look that realistic so what you're just gonna wanna do is import a light and I, I have some really nice light a light pack called grayscale gorilla light kit pro search it if you want the download but I always just put an overhead softbox in my in my projects because I think it looks pretty nice and then if you render it, as you can tell it a definite shading on this, but there's no shadow on the ground, so it's not that realistic. So what you're going to want to do is just import a plane. And again, you're going to have to go back to this to kind of adjust it. And go between, copy all of the texts, rotation, positions into the plane because it will get it to line up perfectly and it will look way better so let me just quick do that okay and it's all lined up now so I'm just gonna go back to this and I'm just gonna move this to underneath of the text uh, change like the width of the plane to like 1,000 by 1,000 centimeters 
just to make sure all the cat sh shadows casted right on the plane and now what you're gonna want to do is right click the plane go to cinema 4d tags go down to compositing it will open up this little menu click compositing background and make sure that is checked and you're just gonna go back to the background layer control and then click on the back or the material from the background and drag it onto the plane and as you can see the plane kinda disappeared but when you render it it gives a nice shadow on the ground and you might wanna adjust the overhead softbox to kinda match the shadow so that kind of, that's a little bit better but yeah so that's basically how to do 3d tracking without all those expensive programs and how to do it pretty nicely so if you guys like this video please comment rate subscribe and sorry if I sound tired because I really am and sorry if I sound rushed because I'm going out to eat <gasps> Which might not be the best idea. But anyway, if you guys like this tutorial, once again, comment, rate, subscribe, and I'll see you later.